So maybe you're tired of Microsoft's changes to private multiplayer servers and how you'd now be banned from playing Minecraft on your own server because you got reported. And say you were banned or you don't want to support Microsoft anymore. Well, I have the solution for you. You should play the game Minetest, a voxel game engine that allows you the mod. Now it is primarily written in C++, but you can use Lua scripting in order to mod the game. So go and download it and you can launch the game and now we're in here start a game you'll just have this called development test it's very boring but what you want to do is go to content browse online content and then it'll open up a menu for the go and download mods now i recommend you either do mine clone 5 or mine clone 2 for the the authentic minecraft experience there's also other games i downloaded that i plan on showing you and you can go and go through and find all the different mods and games and whatnot you can do. Let's go back. Let's go and select Minecraft 5 and let's do a new world and let's create it and let's play the game. Now by default they map inventory to I which I've remapped back to E and I've mapped sprint to control. You can hear the music, different sounds, but you get wood, and we seem to be in a jungle. So it's basically Minecraft, you know, gather wood, make a crafting table. There we go, I got some cobblestone. Go make a furnace. You get this coal. I'm sorry that it's very dark. I can't really do anything because the game won't let me increase the brightness in the settings. So you have ocelots. Yo, splunking. There's no shift clicking, which is annoying. Whatever. Alright, I think that's enough seeing of this mod, so let's go back to the menu. And this one, another game I found is called Subway Miner, which is Subway Surfer. So, so you should play in third person. I can't figure out how to get it in third person, so we're just going to play in first person and hope for the best. Yeah, which it's hard to make those really tight corners in first person.
Yeah, I think you get the point of this game. Then what I found is called Majestics. Where it's a, uh, yeah, I'll show you this world. Is, it's a, uh, it reminds me of Satisfact the game Satisfactory of Factorio. And that you have resources and you go and gather them, these collectors. And these power plants. So what you do is, you uh, use these power plants to power these structures, and collectors give you resources. And using factories and workshops, like this and this, you can create resources, and you take it to the market, and then you connect your your town to the market, and you make money. So it looks like we need another train, so we can go and buy get a train and put that there. Looks like it's bugged. Um, let's see if we can fix it. Let's put the factory here. And actually, I still want to move this. I do want that connected, but I want you to go here, let's keep going there, and then go like that, and now this should you know, go in there and sell things, I'm going to put that there. Train. There, and you make products and sell them and make more money and sell more products, so... I think you get the idea of this. Now let's go back to the menu. And this is a puzzle game, and... So it's a puzzle game where if you the instructions it has to do with quantum entanglement so yes uh, what you do is whenever you place a block or use this potion you go to the other side whenever you place a block it goes to the other side so you see this is about three so place at the third spot it goes there go over and then the next spot I remember it's a mirror so if I put that there this there, that there, and that there. It creates a nice staircase. This one's a lot more puzzling, but you have to get up there by moving blocks around. But I think you get that, so let's go back to the menu. Now, remember Node Core, I believe it's like those like really hard survival Minecraft like things where you have to get like sticks and then stones and slowly build up. So if you're really into that, you probably want to check out Node Core. But I think that's good enough coverage for today. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Mastodon, and have a nice day.